So you know how when you do YouTube videos and uh, you know companies see them and they, that's my wife, they see something and they go, hey, we got something that maybe you want to go ahead and check out and review or do a video on. So I got this thing. Any clues what this thing is? What does it look like? A beehive. A beehive? You think this looks like a bee? Well, okay. It's, it's hexagonal shape. <laughs> it's white. It's got a little bit of orange going on in there. Second guess. Do I have to use it? It has gotten cold now. Uh, summer is finally over and it is getting in the low 50s at night. So it is time to bust out the different heaters. All right, guys, it is a space heater by the company oh. Jackery. <laughs> I mean, a space heater. This is one of those heaters, you know how when your feet get cold during the winter, and usually it's a black, ugly thing? When it comes to heaters, it's the wattage that matters. This is my second small, tiny space heater. Uh, the previous one that I had before was roughly around $30, I believe, and it capped out at 300 watts, which is to say it is something that just gives you a little bit of warmth right off the bat. Uh, it's really nice and you really have to get very close in order to the heater in order to get that, feel that warmth coming in. This guy is a thousand watts. I mean, it, it's, it's tiny, it's stylish, and right now it's still less than $30. Uh, I don't know how they can do it and other people can. Um, if you look at the next heater that is popular on Amazon right now, and I'll also have a link down below, that one's $21 to $22, and that one caps out at 500 watts. So this has two basic settings on here. You got a low and a high. This is a complete touch sensor, and uh, there's two LED lights that are hardly visible in bright light, but perfectly fine in the dark. Uh, that indicates which mode that you're on. It also has a tip over protection, so you knock it over and it will shut itself off. It doesn't make that annoying buzz or beep that some other heaters do. And that's really great because for something this small, if you get kind of cold feet while you're in your office because you don't have control over the HVAC system, this is really great. And at the low setting, doesn't draw too much of wattage to really mess up a lot of the electrical power outlets. Still, you should still check with IT to see if it's okay to use one of these things uh, if or not. And it also has auto shut off. I'm not exactly sure how that works. Maybe if it gets way too hot, it's a safety type of design that will go ahead and shut off the unit. So this is a PDC ceramic heating technology, which is different from one of my favorite heaters, which was the Parabola heater by Presto link to that video down below. This one actually requires a fan to push the air or suck the air in and then push it out to receive the heat. So not only do you need the wattage, you also need a working fan that uh, can pull the air from the back and push it out through the front to wherever it is that you want the heat the most. So I'm gonna have a couple of tests to show you how that works. Three things going on over here. I have my wireless thermometer showing 34 degrees right now. It is humidity and I have the sleep seat thermal going on here. And this is showing at, appears to be 56 degrees over here, seek. 56, 56 degrees Fahrenheit. And then I also have the air meter here to go ahead and check the airflow. So there we go, here's the test. I have this powered in. Um, there's a power switch here in the back. Put that guy on and start it up. Okay, so airflow, first setting. We are at 2.6 miles per hour. It's going, getting hot at 67 degrees now, 68. And you can see the thermals here. Let's check out the thermals. 
thermal showing it is 240, 260 degrees coming out at the setting. Let me try the other setting here. Ooh, that's on high. So, on high, we are still at, a, oh, on high, we are getting closer to 300 and 313 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is getting at, on high, we're getting three, let's see, 3.5 3 miles per hour. There's nothing like actually feeling the fan yourself to figure out whether it works out for you. So I do suggest that if this, the, the design of this and the thousand watt heat coming out of here, and if you're okay with the fan noise, there's nothing like actually trying this out yourself. So if you are interested in trying it out uh, right now, especially during the holidays, you can actually purchase this and use it all throughout November, whatever's left in November, December, and through parts of January before you actually have to return it if you find out that this isn't going to work out for well for you but i can tell you this is easily uh the smallest and uh, in terms of efficiency at a thousand watts being able to produce that heat that comes out it comes out at um, 285 degrees uh, fahrenheit when using the thermal sensor from here and if you are sitting within two feet of this, since this is a personal space heater, even though it's a thousand watts, it's not really designed to heat up the whole room. I suppose eventually it could. Um, this makes for the most stylish, most powerful space heater in its price range in its class right now. So the people behind this really know what they're doing. And even though you've probably never heard of the name brand Osado before, uh, the truth is that it's actually designed and sold or sold by the people at Jackery, who are very famous for their battery products. So there's no batteries, of course, in here at all. That would make sense for a heater of this type. So I, I'm going to give this a recommend. As long as you can handle this, the sound of the fan, this is not a silent unit. Um, I know having this in front of me uh, in a quiet office environment uh, is it sounds like white noise. If you're okay with white noise, you know, that's gonna work well for you. I'm not okay with it because I like it really quiet since I'm recording a lot of things all the time, whether it's my videos or my podcasts, or um, you're gonna need some sort of noise cancellation thing if you're in meetings a lot uh, because it's, it's you, you can hear the fan. All right, so I recommend it for its size, its efficiency, and its design. Don't recommend it uh, if you need it absolutely quiet. For that, there's very few on the market, but in order for it to be really quiet, it's a lot less powerful too, it's a lot smaller. All right, that's it for this quick first look review of the Osado Portable Space Peter. I think my wife is gonna enjoy this because she's constantly cold. So this is, that's, that's who this is going to. All right, thanks for watching. Hit like, subscribe for more. I'll catch you next video. I mean, a space heater. This is one of those heaters, you know how when your feet get cold during the winter, and usually it's a black, ugly thing?